auction barn. Um, going to take you for a test drive today. Got a 2005 Toyota 4Runner. Pretty nice uh, setup. There's a little bit of um, cosmetic damage on, that I noticed on the exterior over on the driver's rear panel. Um, not very much, just a little bit of a scuff more than anything. <clears throat> the battery is a little bit weak um, in that it, uh, it's got about 11 volts in it. It's not enough to actually start the vehicle. I have to jump it and I'm not sure if it will actually end up taking a charge or not. But uh, this came out of an estate. It was an elderly gal that had owned it. And uh, so she's passed on or in a rest home. I don't have any info from her. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look here and see how it runs. Seems to run really nice. It's getting kind of warmed up today. Let's see how the AC works. Turn on the fan on low, see if it works a little bit. The uh, mileage is 108,735. I did happen to notice that the oil change was done not too long ago because it's not due for another oil change till 111,000 miles. The uh, air sensor light is on for one of the tire sensors. I didn't notice a tire that was low on pressure, but it doesn't take much for that to trigger. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty good. Does have four-wheel drive and traction control it looks like. The uh, feels like it might need a little bit of an alignment. It pulls just a little bit so might need an alignment but uh, I'll take some pictures of the tires. It seems like the tires here. Let me turn that fan down. So it's not overpowering. Um, seems like the pop tires were getting a little bit low on tread, so I don't know if they've been rotated for a while. Let's see if the radio works. Well, help explain why the problem is so bad this time of year. We've called Jonathan Gano, who is battling potholes in. Got a nice sound and stereo system on it. I'm gonna go up around the corner here and we'll check out the um, four wheel drive got cruise let's see if the cruise works cruise is working it's got the uh, um, fourth third second and low gear that you can shift into as well as the automatic so if you're pulling something heavier that's kind of handy the video you're watching this is a Google 360 video um, if you're watching this on a smart device, you can physically move your device back and forth. It should pan the camera angle around the inside of this while I'm... So if you don't want to look at my ugly mug, you can look out the front windshield. Um, but you can kind of see the interior a little bit as I go. And uh, if you're watching this on a computer, regular standard computer, click on the video and you can drag back and forth and should be able to change the camera perspective. Uh, inside, everything is pretty clean. Um, seats aren't aren't too worn or anything like that. I mean, that's typical wear, but uh, not bad. A little bit of scuffing here and there. Um, it's cloth seats. I didn't notice any tears or anything like that. When I take some pictures, I'll try and identify those a little bit better. I'm going to just kick it into four wheel and see. Actually, Okay, just kicked into four wheel high. So let's see if we can get it into four wheel low. And kicked right into four wheel low. Back into four wheel high. Kind of bumpy here. Let me get back on the main drag again. And back into two wheel. Okay, let's. 
Let's see how the air kicked into two wheel. See if the windows work. Rear windows. Both of those rolled all the way down. Front windows. Uh oh. Ah. Sorry, lost you guys there. The uh, passenger window clicked a little bit. Okay, I think it's just a piece of crud because it's working just fine right now. Let's see. And for all of you guys that are saying that I was um, <laughs> the camera fallen, I'm going to be uh, ordering a new mount that holds it rigid so that we don't have that problem again. So sorry if I made you guys a little bit uh, nauseous there for a second. Let's see. What else? What else about this little rig? Um, just a nice all around unit. Looks like it's got traction control here. I'm not sure I'd have to read the manual to see how that works. Um, it has dual air, it looks like, for the passenger, I believe. And the. No, it doesn't. Sorry. I thought I had passenger drivers. Um, what's this? Oh, the very back window rolls up and down. That seems to be working. Um, there you have it, guys. A really nice running rig. Drives great. Uh, other than the tire sensor uh, being on don't know of any other issues or problems maybe needs a little bit of an alignment but uh, sounds great feels great I mean it's a Toyota you can't hardly go wrong I'm, I'm a Toyota fan myself if you have any questions give me a call otherwise we'll see you online thanks guys